Now I'm going to show you how you can insert documents, your Google documents, on your website. So right here, I'm going to click where I want the document to go. I go to insert, go over to your drive, and then I click on document. One thing that you have to make sure you do, you can search for your list of documents right here, and then select the one that you want. However, before you insert this into your site, you need to go back and look at this document. This is the document I want to put on my website. I have to go over to share and change it from private to public or anyone with a link because your website will be public to people. However, if you leave your document that you're putting in there private, it will say you do not have access to view this document. So if you want people to see the document that you're putting online, you need to change this to anyone with a link or public in the web. I just leave it with anyone with a link, can view, save. Now I am safe to insert it so other people can see it. So I click on it, select, as it's thinking it's going to insert the document directly into my site. I can play around with the height and the width if you want to for it to fit your website. I hit save, I can center it, I hit save, and now that document is in my Google site and everyone can see it and I do not have to share it with people for them to see it. It's just embedded in my website. The same thing is true for inserting a Google form. Edit page again. If I want to delete my Google document, I just click on this gray box and X, remove it. I go to insert, my drive, and a form. Maybe I have a survey I want people to take. So it could be uh, for, I'm just trying to find one. Here's a technology feedback I want people to do. I select it. I like to change this, um, leave it empty for 100% the width. Let's see what that looks like. I like to center align my form. Now it doesn't show up in the editor, but when you hit save, there is your form inside your Google site that people can see and you do not have to share it with them. And a page, I'm going to show you that with a Google presentation. Insert, drive, presentation. Your presentations are going to pop up. However, you need to make sure that you make these public. So if I pick notes about history, I insert it. You could change the size of it that you want. You can start the slideshow automatically. It's up to you. It's a preference. Save change it, I need to go back to my drive and make sure that my history notes presentation that I made it, anyone with a link can view it. Again, if it was to private, no one could see it. Even though you put it on your website, you have to change it to anyone with a link can view. Looks like I did that. I go back to my site, I hit save. Now my slideshow is in my website.